listen, I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but stop wasting your energy and stop losing sleep over these fuggos, okay? Because let me remind you something that you probably forgot. You were the one that was a little bit hesitant and resistant, but then you were like, you know what? I'm gonna throw this guy a bone. I'm gonna give him a chance. And then he disappeared faster than Casper the unfriendly ghost because we know that Devin Sawa would never. And listen, not every guy can handle a 10, okay? But that's not your problem. What happens is these guys bag a baddie like you and then they get all this crazy confidence. They think they can go out and get whoever and they have all these options, but they can't and they don't. These guys are running out of hair and time let them because eventually they're going to take off their hat and then they're going to be all alone and you're just going to keep getting hotter. Yes, of course, because getting older only makes you hotter. Another thing is that you get hotter as I lose hair. Princess, if you add your two dogs, hey everyone, it's great to see you again. The fact that modern women blame men for being single hurts them more than it helps. You know what should be out in 2024? emotionally unavailable men especially when they don't disclose that uh ma'am um nobody's required to disclose to anybody what their emotional state is but go on and the reason i'm saying that is because it affects the other person um especially when they don't disclose that they lead you on a roller coaster ride you know it's funny there's this little thing <laughs> I know this might be a really odd concept for some of these people, but you want to know what prevents that kind of thing? Paying attention to who you're dating. Mr. Ride, you're nothing but respectful to them. You give them some of your time, like you answer their texts, all that kind of stuff, and they still continue to treat you like you're trash. Yeah, that's about all I can take of this entire video because um, this entire video screams victim. It, it screams victim. Ladies, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. When you get into a relationship, stop fantasizing that man. Stop fantasizing that relationship and stop fantasizing everything about it. You want to know why men fare better in relationships um, more so than women? It's because they don't do this. They don't fantasize the relationship. They don't fantasize that person. They don't put that person on a pedestal without even knowing them. If you're dating somebody and you are the one starting the conversation all the time, like she said, uh, you're doing this and you're doing that and they're not turning, why are you still there? Why are you still there? That is on you. This is the same type of girl that's going to come on the internet after dating somebody for a year, two years, four years, five years, and start claiming that he's a narcissistic, abusive man because she was so great to him and he was so awful to her. Ma'am, if he was so awful to you, you should have left a long time ago. Ladies, if you guys would just stop and pay attention and just listen, be, be mindful, if you will. Um, men will tell you who they are. If that man told you in the beginning of the relationship, he is not looking for anything serious, ma'am. He is not looking for anything serious, okay? If he told you, I just got out of a big relationship, uh, he just got out of a big relationship. No amount of being the most perfect woman on the planet for him is going to make him change his mind and make him emotionally available to you. Some of y'all want this fantasy so bad, so bad that you're willing to bend over backwards. And then when the relationship ends, now you want to put everything on that man like he was the one that was a piece of shit? Uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, you knew he was like that from the beginning. He told you he was not ready for a relationship. He told you he was not looking for anything serious. He told, he told you. I know that man told you. He told you in his actions. He told you in his words. He told you in the way he treated you. He told you in everyday life but you were the one that wanted to continue to make this to be a fantasy relationship and create this entire situation in your head. And now it's falling apart. And now you want to cry wolf. And now you want to say that he's the problem. No, ma'am, you are the problem. You are the problem. If people would be more mindful when they are dating, they would see people for who they are up front, And you would be able to make that judgment up front and say, you know what? Mm, he's, he's not ready. She's not ready. This is not going to work out. I'm going to go ahead 
because I know my worth, because I know I'm a good person, I know I'm a good woman, I know I'm a good man, I'm gonna go ahead and move on, I'm gonna find somebody who is emotionally available and is there and wants to be there for me. Stop calling people narcissists because you stayed in a relationship that... That's something we see way too often. And then she cried about how he wasn't emotionally available while she was probably following him around and trying very hard to get his attention. It works like a clock. She first falls in love with him, then blames him for not being what she wants, and finally posts her complaints online, making herself out to be the victim in some sad story. But here's the thing. Codependency is a sickness, and many people, mostly women, may not even know they have it. Men are easy. Folks teach us not to be too emotional, even though it's not in our nature. From a very young age, someone tells us to be tough, to suck it up, and not show how we feel. Do you know why? Because when we show how we feel, other people use that against us later. It makes sense that a lot of men would rather not talk about it. It's crazy that women can tell right away what kind of man they're dealing with. They know what's good or bad. But they pick the bad ones in the end for some reason. Why? Because in a strange way, those bad boys make them feel at ease. They might do it because it's exciting, hard, or because they really believe they can change him. They play a risky game. Because they're focused on the future they see with him, they excuse his behavior or ignore the warning signs. The comments on this video are actually making me feel physically sick. I posted a video which says, I may have been the girl that got cheated on, but I will never be the girl that knew he had a girlfriend and still went there anyway. Has my video hit the wrong side of the bloody planet or something? The amount of girls commenting on this video who are boasting that they are the other woman they are like literally proud saying, oh, we had a wife and kids and I still went there and I don't care, I'll do it again. Are you unwell, hun? If you get two minutes and this video's on your free page, please go through these comments because I'm actually sick to the stomach and I don't even want to say this is breaking girl code. This is just like pure morals. Where is the respect for yourself? Why are you so proud to be the other woman breaking up relationships? People are commenting saying, no, it's all in the man. It's always the man's fault. And yes, obviously it's the man's responsibility to have respect to his girlfriend. But I'm talking about women who know that man has a girlfriend and you still go there anyway. Because that's on you and him. Girls are commenting like, oh, I'll wait for my karma. Do you think you ate with that? The only kind of girls who are commenting crap like that I reckon are the girls that have never been cheated on. Because no woman that's been through what I've been through and I've watched some of my friends and loved ones go through the same thing. None of those girls ever be commenting the you're commenting. There are a lot of comments that say things like, I'm the other woman, I don't care, which I read all the way through but they were always there. That's not new. There are also some others. I believe we can only call them people in her comments. They are talking in a language I don't understand. I'm going to read some. I really am a bad person. I know one thing for sure. I'd be against my love no matter what. I understand. Send anyone, Papa or someone else, right now. I see, so I'm the bad guy. Not at all. This is the last one I'll say. Nope. Date him, but don't marry him. Indeed. Yes, me too. We can't have a ton of born-again hoes in church. That can't be right. Some chick that slept with a bunch of dudes said sorry after and got a husband. And I just thought to myself, that is like the worst message to send to hoes. So you can do whatever you want. Say sorry and get a husband, no consequences. I have been baffled by the amount of OF models that are just given platforms. I interviewed a thousand women and I interacted with a bunch of sex workers, like more, too many. I had to retire because I talked to so many sex workers. God, it was crazy. And what I realized is these women are not broken. They're not these women that are doing it for money. They're not uh, even um, pressured into this stuff. They do sex work because they like it. That's it. And when you don't have a lot of experience with these type of women, and I would say they're predatory women, you kind of buy into their bullshit. Oh, I was so broken. None of these chicks are broken. I, I swear to God, none of them are broken. They like having sex. And they like doing it with a bunch of dudes. And they enjoy getting on camera for money. And you would think, who would enjoy that? I am telling you guys. They don't like the consequences later. And that's when they start rephrasing the story then later they were broken then later they only did it you know because 
the hole in their heart. Uh, dealing with these chicks, I, I don't buy it for a second. When she sets goals like that, she really is setting herself up to be single forever. She asked him to spend a lot of money on a date. This is where the trouble starts. Being with someone shouldn't depend on how much money they have to spend on you. If things are what hold a relationship together, it will end, sooner or later. Some women, like her, seem to think that a man's worth is based on how much he's willing to spend on a fancy dinner or gifts. What's wrong is that she's putting a price on herself, which means she's not looking for a partner. You want to do business, but that's not how healthy relationships work. Sharing values, getting along, and respecting each other are important. You're setting yourself up to fail when you boil everything down to money. She was wrong to expect a man to show his worth with his money instead of his character. You can blame her for thinking she deserves to live a fancy life just because she's on a date. The truth is that you lose sight of what's important when you put money before real connection. The best part is now here. Men are starting to get it. They know what this is and aren't going along with it. Why should they? A man shouldn't put money into someone who only wants what he can give her. It makes sense that more and more men are taking a step back and rethinking what they want in a relationship. The truth is that she will be by herself if she keeps thinking this way. To be fair, she might find someone willing to spend a lot for a while, but the interest will end when the money does. That's not how you build a lasting relationship, so she's the one who should be blamed for putting the wrong things first. People don't date based on how much money they have. Your goal is to find someone who loves you for who you are, not what you can do for them. She'll be single for a very long time if she doesn't figure it out. Why do men think it's appropriate to approach women in public who are actively engaged in something? Like, I went to the park yesterday to have a little fall picnic by myself for my birthday. Yeah, happy birthday me. And this man came up to me while I was reading a book and just started asking me questions. What's your favorite color? Do you like to dance? What's your favorite sport? Where are you from? How old are you? Are you single or married? In what universe is that appropriate? I got bored as you went on. It actually made me question how brave I am. But that also got old for me. I feel like calling some women's rights groups and asking to talk to the men in charge. Who knows? I might do that in the end. My dad said it seems like young men don't want to get married anymore, and I wanted to ask the internet why that might be. Best case scenario, he gets married, you guys work out great, you have a wonderful marriage. Chances are very small of that. A lot of people end up divorced. He loses half his stuff. He might lose access to his children. His whole life is torn apart. For, for what? Men have no issue finding a woman that will give him all of the same commitment without the marriage part. So if he's looking for long-term relationship benefits, it's not hard to go get it. Not only that, but buying an expensive ring that she likes, proposing, the wedding being expensive. All the work that goes into a relationship that still might end up failing. Because she may change her mind down the road. She may realize that she didn't have time to try all these other guys out. She might look for other options. A lot of men in relationships already feel like... They're not getting what they want. The physical intimacy ends. She doesn't do the same thing she used to. She changes in a negative way. And if he's married to her, he's guaranteed to suffer long term if things go downhill. And there's still a lot of men out there who are willing to get married. They just need to find a woman that is worth committing to. And unfortunately, a lot of men are not finding women that they feel are worth it. Some women don't seem to see the truth when it's right in front of them. The worst part? People who drive used cars with a lot of miles on them still think they're worth more than what they cost new. It's hard to believe, and things are only getting worse. They act like they're worth a lot more than they really are, even though they know that their best days are behind them. However, things that are done in the dark do come to light in the end. You will always have to tell the truth. Sometimes, people are caught off guard by reality, and it's not going to be pretty. Someone is going to wake these women up and tell them that the dream life they've been living is just a dream. For the same price as a brand new car, you'd better not try to sell a beat-up car with 100,000 miles on it. Even if you paint it and clean it up, the mileage will still be there and show. Men who know what things are worth won't be fooled by that. They are smart enough to know the difference between something that is still valuable and something that isn't worth the money. That's what's going on right now.
men are becoming more aware of what's really going on. The false beliefs that some women have about their worth are beginning to fall apart, and it will be a rude awakening when the truth finally comes out. You can only act fake for so long before the mask falls off. It will be impossible to deny the truth when it comes out. The best thing for these women to do is to face the truth. Get out of your dream world where everything is bigger than it is and start seeing what's really going on. Guys, that's all for today. Please like and subscribe this video if you want to see more like it. Thanks for reading and have a nice day.